Okay, so I'd like to say that this is the last of my outdated content. I put up two long videos about my journey getting back into Skyblock after I took a break. One did well, one not so much, but this video is insane and I'm not even trying to hype the video. Like, trust me, it's full of rare drops, crazy progression, and something in there that I don't want to spoil. It's probably going to be like the clickbait of this video. Trust me, sometimes I can't even watch Skyblock content, yet alone my own. So this is definitely the best out of the three-part movie. i like to add that I actually have a series coming out. If you guys have seen my 0 to 1 billion or my 0 to e-drag, I never really started on a fresh account. It was just something fun for me to do. So my next challenge is 10 billion coins in 100 days. And if I don't get it in 100 days or something, that I just give all the money out. Without further ado, getting back onto YouTube and having a good time with you guys, I would really appreciate if you guys helped out the channel by tossing a like and subscribing because it's free. I know it's generic and everyone says it, but I'd really appreciate it. Anyways, let's get straight into the video. I was out for a four month break, and then I think I had the minions going for about like a month or two. So around six months, I'll probably say. So we're gonna collect everything. And I have this little you know, cookie buff, skill buff, and the pet buff. I'm gonna, I'm about to make 7.3 mil. This, about an extra mil profit. I think it depends on how it's laid out. Let's see here. I'm gonna need something with expertise 10. So this rod of the sea. We have uh, 18 million. 18.2 million. I'm going up about like 600k each time I claim 600 to 700k fishing experience each time I claim one. Sometimes 800k. Like I'm at 37 mil. And that's it. I just claim each and every single one of them. We have 46 mil. We do have some like mining stuff in there, but it's not much. And then we have 127 mil. Put that together about 170. So if you didn't know already, I took a four or five month break from content creation to figure out if that was really what I wanted to do, which I do. When I came back, I had half a year of fishing minion loot just stored up. I'm talking about max minions, plasma buckets, fly catchers, and my beacon is fully maxed. Actually, a lot of people don't even know, but you can grab this beacon and the best one will give you a 10% minion buff. So I was getting supremely juiced and the experience I was getting was nuts because this was during derpy. After I claimed all my minions and stored the loot in a chest, I headed over to do some revenant slayer trading with my friend Zinx. So no, you, you're supposed to come in here and then you're supposed to AOTE out like this. And then it gets stuck. So right here and then you AOTE out like that. Oh. Uh, yeah, and then it gets stuck. Here, 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 my, uh, mine's gonna spawn. So you bring it right in here. Hold on. Oh my God, this is so Ooh. slow. How much damage do you do? What the fuck? I'm hitting it for uh, one point three. I'm hitting it. One point three? Fair amount. Yeah, but I'm like, I'm actually hitting it, hitting it. I'm not using that. Oh, uh, you got one for all. It's the one for all. I can't. Um, dude, do I have a one for all? Yeah, I have one for all anyway. Oh my god. Oh my god. I watched it happen. Oh my god, you're so doggers. What's going off? Oh, oh my god. Oh, I got shredded, shredded. Yeah, I saw that. So we weren't able to farm the revenants consistently because Zinx didn't have a proper axe to the shredded. He went to go ask his guildmates for help. As for I, I went back to my island to upgrade my armor and my weapons. We actually got a tip that in the Crystal Hollows, the perk Lonesome Miner would help a lot. Lonesome Miner gives you strength, crit chance, crit damage in the Crystal Hollows, and you also have the ability to place down blocks in the Crystal Hollows, which you can't do anywhere else. And you can also fish zombie related mobs there so we ended up making a crazy semi-AFK revenant farm. Oh, oh my god, let's go. Oh, are you watching? <laughs> I'm about to put mine on 100%. So. Oh my god, it's cooked to the fucking <laughs> wall. <laughs> 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 Yo, it's so <laughs> After a nice session with Zinx, I had to find somebody in the Skyblock Z Discord because the auction house was closed because of Derpy, and it sell one of my Warden Hearts to continue trading. 290 for the Warden Heart during Derpatron. Thank you very much, very much needed. I also found out people were taking advantage of the Legion enchant, which makes it where when more people are around you, you get better stats. I also dropped another Warden Heart and sold it. Uh, it it's it's just not. Oh, it is! It is! 
295 mil. Boom. Thank you very much, man. Much appreciated. Anyways, here are the reactions to the rest of the other drops I got. That like blue neon, like just shooting out of the freaking zombie looks so cool. Oh my, just like, oh my gosh, bruh. Wait, maybe this is it? Oh, you got it beheaded? Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, bro. You'll get a warden hurt soon. Trust me, I'll drop you one, dude. I promise. Oh my God. Oh my God, bruh. Oh my God. Meter here, good luck, bro. Oh my God, nice. Madge. Oh my God. Uh, yes. Oh my gosh, my mom's gonna kill me for that one, I'm not gonna lie. Here it is, boys. Oh my god. That was the nail in the coffin after dying. There's only five minutes left, so it's whatever, it's whatever. But if we take a look out of everything that we received, we did sell a couple of wardens though, I will say that. We did sell a couple of wardens. Hold on, I'll show you everything that we got since this is kind of live in the flesh. We will put everything in here. So we have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's supposed to be nine, but we ended up selling two wardens as we were doing this because, you know, we kind of have to in order to keep the cash flow going. Here are the rest of the shards of the shredded. Also, we have more scythes. Jesus. My God. Look at this, boys. Boom. That makes another orb for us. Damn. I can't even fit this all in here. I can't. I literally can't even fit this all in here. Oh, by the way, these books, they probably look like regular Schmegler books. These aren't regular of the Schmegler books. These are all Smite 7 books. And then all these are just undead catalysts. I don't know why I'm holding on to them. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to NPC sell them anyway. All right, so after Derpy, I still had aspirations of obtaining the number one net worth in the museum, and at the time, that was Swavy L. I do fanboy over Refraction's museum though, because he has a bunch of rare exotics, and all the enchants on the armor look so clean. I wanted my museum to look just as good as his, but had the number one museum, so I sold a bunch of items. I ended up selling a bunch of items that I was hoarding on my island for a discounted price to the people who were viewing me on Twitch. By the way, please come to my Twitch. The link will be in the description. It's pretty chill there. And please like the video and subscribe if you've made it this far. It'll help a brother out. I went back to Refraction's museum and was mesmerized by his items. At that point, I just had a crazy spending spree moment. I put Legion on absolutely everything. The Necron chest plate, the leggings, the boots, my Warden Helm, putting Legion on that and putting perfect gemstones on absolutely everything, which costed a crap ton. I also had a pretty rare storm set that wasn't its original color, and I did the same thing. Legion, growth, protection, fuming hot potato books, the whole deal. After I finished up my upgrades and money spending, I still had a maxed Devon set with the Devon drill. So I went to go test out this money making method everyone was talking about, which was gemstone grinding. After a while, I realized even with the best gear and drill, which costed well over a billion coins, I still needed to upgrade my Heart of the Mountain Tree, perks that can help out with the mining speed and mining fortune, something money can't buy. So over the span of a hundred inconsistent hours, I invested my time doing just that. I ended my journey with 4 million gemstone powder, which was enough to make a considerable amount of money per hour gemstone grinding. I was still pretty burnt out though from doing absolutely nothing but working on my heart of the mountain tree. So I decided to take the ease off by doing some dungeons. And I get a wither shield on my first try. Let's go. <laughs> the eight minute S run. Oh my God, we got S plus, never mind. Oh my gosh, wither chest plate. You know my like, PB, my personal bests, is oh my god, we got another chest plate. Holy crap, bruh. Bruh, and it's four star as well. I have to stop getting carried because it's just oh my god, recombobulator, bro. Should just give it to your friend. Oh my gosh, an auto recommer. Oh my gosh, soul eater. One mil always use profit, profit, profit. Oh my gosh, a recombobulator again? After doing a bunch of dungeon runs, I had easily one of the weirdest encounters with the utmost beautiful ending. Take a look. Hello. 
I'm just gonna uh, just state this for the record really quick. It's 5:39 p.m. Uh, here, I'm gonna pull up my Discord, and uh, I got raided by this like free money hub guy. Um, it was pretty funny at first because there was like no harm. It's not like I was like crazy popular, so I didn't really have to worry. Anyways, yeah, right around here, you see the free money hub, 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 free money hub. It just keeps going. Um, yeah, and I just got kicked off that guy's island too, which is actually unfortunate. But he's doing something sketchy with this right here got a whole bunch of torches did something crazy oh there he is that's him there it is there it is all right we're about to see it in action dude but he could just place okay well i didn't even, yo honestly i didn't even know that uh infinite torch was even an item so that explains a lot on how he's able to produce such crazy quantity to like the server like you can just see in the top left my frames are just going to shit 20 frames i got a 2080 super dude 19 18 and it kind of kicks him, I guess, because maybe his computer is just made out of, maybe it's a microwave. He gets just back onto his island, gets back in the corner, and then just starts uh, glitching it out again. And once again, the reason why I found this was because, I mean, the name is literally, I mean, look at the name. Look at the, look at the green name, dude. G4YBOA. Like, you guys can just figure that for yourselves at that point. And he's just spamming, dude. He's just spamming my core, bro. <laughs> so having my gore telling me to visit visit this guy so i go and i vi like i don't want to like feed into it but i was like all right i'm gonna just check it out let me see what this, this is all about but this is yeah he's definitely he's definitely dipping at this point he's crashing the server he has another alt account and then it's got it's got to be something like that i don't see what else it could possibly be uh but yeah he, he's crashing it he's doing something dude so all righty, all righty. That's about it. I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to do. I tried to message uh, Jay of Warman. I don't know how to really go about. Um, hopefully, he will get banned soon. Bro, no way. Visit mm, Jay of Warman. I had to unnick, dude. My bro said, come visit the island. Game breaker, maybe? No shot. Am I really about to get this game breaker? <laughs> no way, dude. Oh my god. Actually juiced me, bruh. No cap. No. Oh my god. Let's go, baby. We a alpha moves. Alpha mindset grindset, baby.